Hey everyone, as always, Dylan Miller prospecting, and it's pay dirt battle time again. And this time, an Arizona pay dirt has risen from the dead to battle the current king of Arizona, and that is Lynch Mining coming back to try and steal the throne from Mike over at Vendetta Prospecting. So for today's battle and clawing its way out of the ground is a 12 ounce bag of Lynch Mining's Black Label pay dirt with a one gram guarantee. While in the other corner is the spry and healthy Vendetta Prospecting and his 12 ounce bag of Superstition Mountain pay dirt also with a guaranteed one gram of gold. Now before I get too far into this video, I do have to say that no, Lynch Mining is not reopening and no, they're not selling pay dirt again, shipping out old orders or refunding customers. This pay dirt battle is just something to have a little bit of fun with to compare an old seller with a new seller. And since Halloween is just around the corner, I thought it would be a little bit of fun to compare a dead company with one that is still alive and kicking. So this should be a really interesting battle and I'm curious to see how they stack up against each other, but let's just go to the overhead, open up these bags and check out these pay dirts a little bit closer. All right, at the overhead, and I actually think both of these bags were supposed to be one pound, not 12 ounces, but this one is one pound. So if it's one pound or 12 ounces, it's over. And this one is one pound, 1 1.8 ounces. So they're definitely within compliance of what they're supposed to be, you, whether it's 12 ounces or one pound. Dump these out. I will rinse the bags before the end of the video, just in case any gold gets trapped in them. I don't think I've ever had any trap, but you just never know. You don't want it to be that first time. So definitely different material from these two. Now, Lynch Mining did have a pay dirt that was more like Superstition Mountain from Belmont or some of the other ones. But the reason I chose these was because one, I had this one pound. It's hard to get Lynch Mining since they're sold out now. And this was the smallest bag that Vendetta had. So while the materials aren't the same, we'll still be doing this battle anyway. And let's check them for magnetite. See how, well, as you can see, the Lynch Mining is pretty much nothing but magnetite and black sands. We'll pick up the Vendetta. Well, the Vendetta really doesn't have too much in it. But that's not to say that the black label bag from Lynch Mining is going to be a harder bag to pan out. While you might assume this one would be more difficult because it's all black sands and this one has almost no magnetic black sands, it really depends on the size of the gold mixed in with the size of the material, as well as a few other factors. So we won't know until we actually pan it out, which is what we're gonna go do now because I'm not going to be classifying this material down. It's only one pound and well, the Lynch Mining, you know, I'd probably find all the gold if I did classify it down. So let's just go to the water and start finding some of that gold. Let the buzzards pick me clean Let my bones bleach out white and smell a putrescene Need no fancy casket, don't need a marker stone No one's gonna miss me now that I'm dead and gone Now that I'm dead and gone Now that I'm dead and
Well, finished panning everything out as you saw, and those weren't too difficult, but we'll talk about that in a minute. For right now, let's show you the gold I found. And this is what I found. This is from the Lynch Mining, and this is from Vendetta Prospecting. Let's put these here. And let's start weighing it up with the Lynch Mining. We'll pull out that little bitty picker. See how much it weighs. 0.33 now both of these bags are guaranteed one gram and there we go 1.1 on the dot and now for the vendetta which did not have any pickers in it And 1.105. There we go. So pretty good results. Got over the one gram from both bags. Got a little bit, tiny little bit more from the Vendetta. But then again, my scale does have a variance of 0 0.005 plus or minus. So they both could weigh the exact same, but really, really close. Now, for these bags from Lynch Mining and Vendetta Prospecting, they really weren't too difficult to pan out. The Lynch Mining, while it looked like it would be difficult because it was all black sands, all the gold is in the plus 20 mesh and above, including that big picker. So you could kind of be heavy-handed when you're panning and you probably wouldn't lose any gold. It, the difficult part is just getting the black sand to move because black sand, since it's so heavy, tends to not want to roll out of the pan as easy as blondes. So it's just a little bit rougher with that. While with the Vendetta, a lot of the material was in the larger classification. And since there wasn't any large gold, you could kind of be a little heavy handed with the larger material. And then when you got down to the smaller material, just be a little bit more cautious. But because it didn't have any real amounts of black sand, it wasn't too difficult to get out the small gold. Because this one, the Vendetta did have some minus 40 gold. Not much, a couple little pieces, but... If I had to give a win to one of these, I would say the Vendetta was harder than the Lynch Mining. Again, Lynch Mining, really bright and shiny gold, and it's all in the larger classification. All right, finished calculating my numbers, writing up my review, and let's find out who won this battle. Now, I will tell you these reviews are going to be much different than my usual Paydirt Battle reviews because Lynch Mining closed over a year ago and I had to buy a the bag I reviewed today from another Paydirt reviewer who had it on their shelf. 
and I don't know when they bought it, what gold spot was, or even how much they paid for it. All I know is what I paid for it, and I paid a big premium because gold spot went up and they wanted to make a few bucks. In other words, I have no way to calculate an ROI on the Lynch Mining Paydirt. I can on the Vendetta because I used a secret shopper for it and I know what he paid and how much gold spot was, but that wouldn't be fair to only give an ROI to one seller. Instead, what I'm going to do to compare these two companies and bags is use my over eight years of experience buying, panning, and reviewing paydirts to pick a winner, loser, and maybe even a tie from multiple criteria, and then we will add up the wins and the losses and see who won this battle. So let's just start popping up the info right here. We'll go through it individually and we'll find out who wins. But Lynch Mining Vendetta went through the black label with Lynch Mining, the superstition bag for Vendetta Prospecting. Both were guaranteed one gram of gold, and I recovered over one gram from both. I actually recovered 1.10 grams from Lynch Mining and 1.105 grams from Vendetta Prospecting. Now for ROI, again, I can't tell you how much was paid for the Lynch Mining Bag by the other paid it reviewer. I don't know if he used a secret shopper. I don't know any of that information. So instead, what I'm going to give is either a win, a loss, or a tie for ROI, fun factor, and all these below. For ROI, I'm going to give it a tie because one of the reasons that made Lynch Mining so popular is they had really good ROIs. They were one of the first companies to start giving you a good ROI on everything they offered. And Vendetta has always given a good ROI as well. So for both of these companies, I'm going to give them a tie. There we go. Tie and tie because they both had really good ROIs. Now for fun factor, this one's a little bit different. Now typically when I do fun factor, I just give them the same score as the ROI, but I can't really do that in this case. But I will say one of the things for fun factor is it does give a plus or minus when I do reviews is if it's a tough bag of pater, like if they say it's a tough bag of pater and it's not. And that was one of the complaints about Lynch Mining that a lot of people had, is that no matter which bag you got, it panned out the exact same because they used the exact same size gold in every single bag. So if they had a pile of gold with one gram in it, they could dump it in one bag and they would say, oh, this is an easy bag. They would dump it in another bag and say it was a hard bag. But the gold was still larger gold. So... If you bought the black label, it wasn't harder to pan out than, say, their gizmo bag. They both were the exact same. While with Vendetta prospecting, if he says his bag is hard, it's a hard bag. If he says it's easy, then it will be easier than the hard bag. So I am going to give a loss to Lynch Mining and a win to Vendetta prospecting for the fun factor. Because Vendetta's prospecting's paydirts were always a little bit more fun. He might not have as much variety as the Lynch Mining did, but I think it was a little bit more fun. For description, Lynch Mining always had good descriptions. Every once in a while, they would mess up their copy and paste, but you could tell that they had messed up their copy and paste. But overall, they always had really good descriptions, probably because they asked somebody to help them write it. And so they had good descriptions. But I will say, Vendetta Prospecting also has some really good descriptions. In fact, his descriptions are even better than Lynch Mining's, and they had somebody help him write it because he goes the extra mile, and he puts in a lot more extra information. So again, I'm going to give the loss to Lynch Mining and the win to Vendetta Prospecting. For quantity, they were both over the one pound. And I, one of the complaints I've never heard from Lynch Mining or Vendetta, I've never heard anyone complain that they didn't get the amount of material they were guaranteed. So for quantity, I'm going to give both of them a tie. Packaging. So for this one, for packaging, Lynch Mining used the typical bags. And like this video, you saw the bags. But as an overall company, they also went to the jars, which was really what they were trying to move forward to. Eventually, they had planned on never using any bags and only using the jars because it was much safer. They wouldn't bust. Well, Vendetta has always used coffee bags. So for this one, I'm actually going to give Lynch Mining the win and the loss to Vendetta pro Prospecting. And now we get to customer service. And one of the big complaints about Lynch Mining has always been their customer service and their shipping, which will be next. While Vendetta, I've never heard any problems about his customer service. So the loss goes to 
Lynch Mining, and the win goes to Vendetta Prospecting. Shipping, as I just said, that was one of the huge complaints about Lynch Mining was their shipping was slow, the customer service was slow, and it was weird because I never had any of those problems when I had secret shoppers buying their pater. It was just one of those things. They would answer and ship out maybe 50% of their products and the other 50% of the people, they would ignore. I don't know what the ratio was, but it seemed like that's how it worked. Some people had great customer service with them and great shipping, and other people were just left hanging on and never getting their products forever. So again, the loss will go to Lynch Mining and the win will go to Vendetta Prospecting. And looking through the wins and losses, you can tell the absolute winner for this battle from Lynch Mining versus Vendetta Prospecting is Vendetta Prospecting. Now, even though Vendetta Prospecting won this battle, I want to point out that not too long ago, Lynch Mining was probably one of the most highly regarded paydirt sellers, and it just shows how much new sellers are improving and getting better. So while Vendetta Prospecting retains his King of Arizona crown, you never know what the future will bring. But that's going to be it. Thanks for watching. Happy painting. And if you're not already a subscriber, think about hitting the subscribe button below. And if you want to support this channel, you can go over to patreon.com forward slash Miller Prospecting to help me make more videos like this.